Long story short, I got a video from one of my followers on Instagram called Kristen. He has a very solid form actually, but he's saying that while he can throw 400 feet or 120 meters quite easily with no effort, he cannot get past it no matter what he does. When he throws harder, his form kind of goes bad. At first, his form looks very solid. There's nothing much wrong with it. But on a closer look, we can see that he lacks the coil. So here we see Kristen taking the slow run up. He takes the X step, reaches for the ground with the brace leg and rotates his shoulders at the same time. Now you can see that it's almost there, but not quite because his plant leg doesn't go fully to the ground before he starts to uncoil and it also looks like he's rotating the shoulders now i'm not advocating for the rotation i am in for a linear type of disc golf shot your legs go forward and because they go forward you have to uncoil at the same time, but it doesn't happen like rotating. Because Kristen is rotating, his arm also collapses a little bit too much to the chest. He hasn't got time enough to reach out and then go forward and out, but instead he's rotating his chest to the disc, which causes a little bit of rounding too. So let's now see what a human pretzel, Joona Heinanen, one of the most beautiful forms of modern disc golf looks like. He is a two-time European Championship bronze medalist and all-around good fella, both in and out the course. Joona Heinanen is a very mobile, flexible dude. But not only that, he is a prime example of a good coil. Here you can see him taking a very wide stride. At the same time as he's taking the stride, he's almost like pushing the shoulder out. Here you can see a better example of him really pushing the shoulder out. This ensures that the elbow is not collapsing to the chest at any point, but is making the arm as long as possible so that it can stay also as out as possible from the chest. Now the second thing is that he keeps on turning the shoulders for as long as possible. While he's taking the stride, he just turns the shoulders and keeps on turning until and even beyond the point that his brace leg touches the ground. Not only is it touching the ground, he's fully pushing down so that the left leg, the back leg, is actually lifting up from the ground before he starts the throw. Now, the legs go forward, the hips go forward, and at the same time, the shoulders keep on turning so that it looks something like this. Now, you can see that I'm going forward with the back here, I'm almost like pushing the wall that's in front of the tee pad here. At the same time, I continue the coil and push the shoulder out, just like Joanna Heinen in here. Now, when I go forward, I have to lift the back leg up. When I do it a lot faster, it will happen automatically. Now, if you're one of those back leg disc golfers who think that it's like this, well, Sorry, I'm not here to help you. You have to throw from the braced position. Get all of your weight to the front leg while still fully coiled. And only then you start the throw. This is what Kristen should do and focus on in his practice. To really feel the front leg coming to contact with the ground while still coiling and keep on coiling and keep on coiling until you cannot coil anymore and you just have to throw forward. 
Now you should check out my videos in this order. Check the postman drill, where you really learn how to throw from the front leg and the front leg only without leaning over. The second one is cooking the spaghetti, where you learn how to keep the arm out and the elbow out so that it doesn't collapse to your chest. Use an active arm. And then check out the ABC video. Always be coiling. Those three videos are basically everything you need. But of course, you can check out the bracing videos I've done many, the hips videos I've done many. So that's how you learn how to throw a decent backhand. Remember, it comes only to three things. Bracing, go forward. Elbow, keep out. And follow through when you don't stop the movement. Legs go forward, shoulders go backward, and then throw. It's that easy. Bye.